Hi year one children. I thought today I'd do something just a little bit different and read you some poetry, some poems from this book. It's called Giggly Rhymes. So it's going to be quite a short session, just one or two rhymes. Hopefully they'll be a bit giggly as well and give you a bit of something to smile about. First one's called Auntie Agnes's Cat. My Auntie Agnes has a cat. I do not like to tell her that. Its body seems a little large, with lots of stripes for camouflage. Its teeth and claws are also larger than they ought to be, a Raja. Ga gave her the kitten, I recall, when she was stationed in Bengal. But that was many years ago, and kittens are inclined to grow. So now she has a fearsome cat, but I don't like to tell her that. It's a big old cat. Is it the sort of cat we'd have a pe as a pet? I don't fancy a tiger for my pet, I'll be honest. Next one I've got is called Eggs. All kind of creatures come for eggs. Canaries, owls and larks. And turtles, insect crocodiles. And fish and snake and sharks. When you next at breakfast you should have boiled eggs. Why not look out? In opening them be sure that one... Of these does not pop out. Wouldn't fancy eating an egg with that in, would you? Big, big old surprise. Next poem is called The Flipper Flopper Bird. Oh, have you never heard of the Flipper Flopper Bird? Oh, have you never seen his teeth? Two above and one beneath. Oh, have you never known the thrill? of stroking his enormous bill. Oh, have you never taken tea with him sitting up a tree? Oh, have you never seen him hop as he goes a flipper flop? Oh, have you never heard his cry? No, you've never, nor have I. I don't think that flipper flopper bird exists. My last poem I'm going to read you is about a dragon. My dragon's name is Jocelyn. He's something of a joke. For Jocelyn is very tame. He doesn't like to maul or maim or breathe the fearsome fiery flame. He's much too smart to smoke. And when I take him to the park, the children form a queue and say, what lovely eyes of red, as one by one they pat his head. And Jocelyn is so well bred, he only eats a few. Mm. Would you like to take the gamble with Jocelyn if he only eats one or two? Well, it's been a short session, folks. I hope it's been a bit different, maybe, than the usual stories that I've read. i would have some poems. Back to the stories tomorrow, I think. Remember the school motto, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours and keep smiling.